So hi guys, this is Varsha, and you're watching Mastermind. So friends, as you have already seen in the title of this video, in this session we are going to discuss the format of your letter writing, that is both your formal letter as well as informal letter for your ICEC 2020 board examinations for your English grammar. So let us begin. So friends, you all must be knowing that you get two letters in your board examinations from your English language, and you out of these two, you have to attempt any one. You will get two letters. One will be formal letter, and one will be informal. And out of these two, you have to attempt any one of your own choice. So now, let us first begin. Let us first discuss with the format of your informal letter. So for your informal letter, the first thing that you have to keep in mind is that the letter writing, whether it is formal letter or whether it is informal letter, it it has to be short. It cannot be too lengthy. One page is enough, or one and a half page is enough for your informal letter. but it should not exceed that because essay writing when you are doing your composition part that can be lengthy that has to be lengthy but for your letter writing it should be up to one page or one and a half page but it should not exceed that well so the first thing that you have to write for your informal letter is the sender's address you have to write the sender's address and after you complete with the sender's address now what is sender's address you are writing a letter so you have to write your address that is the sender's address After the sender sender's address, you have to leave a line and then write date. Now, when you are writing the date, you have to keep in mind that you don't have to write D A T E date while writing the date. Directly write the date. Suppose it is seventeenth August two thousand nine. And when you are writing the month, please do not use abbreviation. That is your short form. You have to write A U G A U G U S T August. The full letter. After you complete the sender's address, you have to leave a line and then write date. After you complete writing the date, you have to leave again a line and then you have to write the salutation. Now, what is the salutation? Suppose you are writing this is an informal letter. Since it is an informal letter, so you can be writing it to a friend. So when you are writing it to your friend, you have to write dear and the name of your friend. After you complete with the salutation, then from the next line, you have to begin the body of the letter. That is your introduction, body, and conclusion. You have to write this three in three stanzas. Please do not write it uh, in combined form. You have to write it separately. Three paragraphs. First will be the introduction, then your body of the letter, and then your conclusion. And do keep in mind that your letter does not have to be very lengthy. Now, after you complete with the body of the letter, leave a line and then write the subscription that is thanking you. And then in the next line, write yours lovingly, and then write the write your name. And Uh, mind you that you don't have to write the title in your title in the informal letter but in your formal letter you have to write your full name but in your informal letter you have to write only the first name well now let us discuss with the for, for, format of your formal letter so for your formal letter the first thing that you have to write is sender's address again and after writing the sender's address you have to leave a line and then write date now the next thing that you have to do is again you have to leave a line for write the receiver's address after you write the receiver's address you have to leave a line again and then you have to write the salutation that is respected sir madam and then you, in the next line you have to write the subject after writing the subject then you have to begin the body of the letter that is again in three stanzas or three paragraphs that is your introduction body and conclusion and here keep uh, keep in mind that you don't have to write your letter too lengthy it has to be short and the formal letter it has to be even more shorter than your informal letter you have to write only the main points or the important points after you complete the body of the letter you have to write thanking you and that is your subscription yours sincerely or you can write yours faithfully but you don't have to write yours lovingly because this is a formal letter and the name in the next line you have to write your full name so this is the format of your formal letter and while writing your formal letter or whether it is informal letter when you are writing yours faithfully or yours sincerely or yours lovingly please write y o u r s but do not give a apostrophe so friends this was the format of your formal letter as well as informal letter i have explained in this video so friends this was the video thanks for watching this video and if you like this video then please do give the thumbs up button and subscribe our channel mastermind and yes if you have any doubts or queries then you can write to us in the comment section thank you